Okay, so the Minnesota Timberwolves, they have the first overall pick in the 2020 draft. And I'm going to say something that most people don't believe that they should do. I believe that the Timberwolves should draft with the first overall pick, LaMelo Ball. And I know they already have Jared Colbert, Josh Okogi, Jordan McLaughlin, Jacob Evans, Jalen Noel, fine players, but for the point guard position. But I still believe that they should draft LaMelo Ball. Here's the reason why. Now, looking at all the players at the top of this draft, you know, they say that this draft is a weak draft that, you know, you can't really, it's not really a hit draft. It's really a hit or miss draft, you know, because there's no Zion Williamson, John Morant, RJ Barrett in this draft. It's guys like LaMelo, Edwards, and Wiseman. And these prospects aren't looked at as good as those prospects. Now, I personally believe that the sleeper in this draft is Danny Abdiha, but we're not going to talk about him in this for the rest of the video. I got another video coming about coming out about Denny of Diha, but I believe that they should take LaMelo Ball because the options is either take LaMelo or most people think that they're going to take Anthony Edwards. Now, my problem with taking Anthony Edwards is I believe he's he reminds me of DeMar DeRozan a lot. Not really a good three point shooter, decent defender at best and very athletic, both of them very athletic. He reminds me a lot of DeMar DeRozan and DeMar DeRozan is an all star. Um, never made an All-NBA team, but an All-Star. And DeMar DeRozan, he's cool, but for the first overall pick, I don't really think that you should take a chance on somebody like Anthony Edwards, DeMar DeRozan type. I believe LaMelo Ball has big potential to be a star in the NBA for two reasons. Number one, we already know about his scoring ability. He's a great scorer. But the thing that most people sleep on him the most is his passing ability. Now, if you go back and look at high, I know he's changed a lot since high school, but look at his high school days. Go look at his high school tapes, his high school passes. Look at that. He still has that in his bag, right? Even if you look when he played overseas, he's still a great passer. I believe he has the perfect mix of scoring and passing ability. And he just played a full year against grown men. So I don't really see how you can deny that. Um, so I believe that LaMelo... He, I believe Denny of Diha is the best prospect in his draft, but I believe that they're, they're either going to consider Anthony Edwards, which they're probably going to take, or LaMelo, and I believe that they should take LaMelo. And another reason why I believe you should take him is because his value is going to be way higher than Denny of Diha. It's going to be higher than Edwards, Wiseman, everybody. It's going to be higher because he's LaMelo Ball. He's a big star. People are going to be interested in him. His father, LeVar Ball, said that he wants him to play he said two teams, but I'm only going to talk about one for right now. He said he wants them to play for the Detroit Pistons. And the Detroit Pistons, if you remember weeks back, re weeks back, Bleacher Report came out with the article talking about the Pistons possibly moving up in the draft. LeVar said he wants LaMelo to go to Detroit. The Pistons said they want to move up in the draft. They can get a deal done. And what would the Pistons give up? Would they give up Christian Wood uh, after they re-signed him in the offseason? I think they might be able to give up, no, be willing man, to give up Christian Wood. Luke Kennard, I love Luke Kennard. He averaged 16 points this year. Um, he should have been most improved player of the year. I love Luke Kennard. You know, most people don't like him because the Pistons should have drafted Donovan Mitchell, but whatever. I love Luke Kennard. But are the Pistons willing to give up Luke Kennard and uh, Christian Wood and maybe a 2024 first round pick to get LaMelo? I think the Pistons would be willing to do that. Hey, hey. They could even give up Blake Griffin or Derrick Rose. I'm pretty sure the Pistons, they want to get Jordan Bone. They want to see what Jordan Bone can be at the point guard position in the NBA. Uh, guard out of Tennessee, 5 feet 10. I know he's short, but he's a great basketball player. Spent this past year in the G League and bought out. So I believe that talk, you, if you're Minnesota, call up somebody like Detroit. See what they're talking about. See if they want to give up Blake Griffin, Derrick Rose, Christian Wood, Luke Kennard. If you add some of those players to your roster and maybe one pick in the future, the Timberwolves are looking anywhere between, I would say, if they add some of those players, anywhere between a sixth seed and a fourth seed. And coming from one of the worst teams in the NBA to a sixth or a fourth seed, and you got uh, D'Angelo Russell already, and you got Malik Beasley, and you got Cat, Jared Culver, I believe that they should call up somebody like Detroit or the Knicks. The Knicks would be, I'm no, I know the Knicks would be willing to give up at least one of their young assets or 
I know Julius Randle fell off a little bit this year, but Julius Randle, if you remember a couple years back, he was decent with the Lakers, but very good when he played a year by himself with the New Orleans Pelicans. So if I'm the Minnesota Timberwolves, man, I'm just calling up teams, whoever I can call up. I got to see because drafting Anthony Edwards, I don't believe it's going to do much for you. Drafting Wiseman, not going to do much. It would be interesting, Wiseman and Cat, that combination, but I believe that they should draft LaMelo, trade him, see what they can get for him because it's a lot of teams that I believe that would be willing to move up and see what happens from there.